In this video, we're going to talk about what to expect in the Amazon Technical Program Manager interview. My name is Kevin Wei, and I'm here to help you land your dream job in tech. Amazon's TPM roles are great for those with both a technical and product understanding. Amazon mostly hires TPMs from those with experienced professional backgrounds. You'll begin the process by speaking with a recruiter. The purpose of this call is to ensure that you're directionally a good fit for the role. It's a fairly straightforward call where you'll be asked to talk about your work experience, why you're interested in the role, and why you want to work at Amazon. Based on this call, the recruiter will find available job listings on different teams. Usually, you'll apply to no more than two to three roles. Before we talk about what's after the recruiter call, if you're enjoying these tech interview prep videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for new videos every single week. It may seem meaningless, but doing these things really help the algorithm find our content. After the recruiter call, you'll have a phone call with your hiring manager. This conversation will take an hour and consist of three parts. First, the hiring manager will want to understand your program management background. These questions will either be hypothetical, like how would you handle a scenario where dot dot dot, or experiential, like tell me about a time where dot dot dot. Second, you'll be asked technical questions to assess your ability as a TPM. These questions will likely come in the form of a system design question and are important as they'll determine whether you'll interview as a technical program manager or a non-technical program manager. Third, the interviewer will ask you questions pertaining to Amazon's 14 leadership principles. These are also behavioral in nature. Make sure you have one or two unique stories that show how you demonstrate each principle and be sure to not violate any of the leadership principles as you tell your stories. That would be a red flag. For example, let's suppose you were working on a project and a critical coworker was on vacation. It will send a negative signal for the ownership principle to assume that you can wait for your coworker to return from vacation because their work is not in your scope. The most important factor in your hiring decision is your ability to answer the leadership principles. So be prepared to communicate clearly and succinctly, ideally in the star format, situation, task, action, and result. You should also be able to show that you have the ability to think of solutions that work well at large scale. Generally, you'll have one phone interview with a hiring manager, but it's possible you'll have two if they're unsure about your candidacy. For TPM interviews at Amazon, sample technical questions you may encounter include, how will you design a service that supports uploading and tagging images to a travel site? How would you design a reservation and payment system for a parking garage? And how would you design a relational schema for a calendar application? When you encounter these, make sure you clarify the requirements, talk about trade-offs you'd make, and how do you ensure needs like scalability, reliability, and availability. If you do well in your phone interview, you move on to the on-site round. These consist of five to six interviews, each of which lasts an hour. Throughout your day, you'll meet with a variety of cross-functional peers, including product managers, software engineers, engineering managers, and other program managers as well as a bar raiser and the hiring manager again. Regardless with whom you're speaking with, you will again be asked to speak on Amazon's 14 leadership principles. You may also be asked questions like, how do you prioritize requests from multiple stakeholders? What is your favorite and second most favorite leadership principle? Which leadership principle do you least resonate with? All of these interviewers carry equal weight in the evaluation process with the exception of the bar raiser. The bar raiser is someone who is more senior than you and holds special veto power. Their responsibility is not to gauge whether you'd be a good fit for the team, but rather whether you'd raise the bar at Amazon. Their goal is to ensure that those who get hired are at least better than 50% of the current workforce. You can usually tell the bar raiser apart from the other interviewers as they're the one that's noticeably tougher. After you finish your on-site, take a deep breath and hang tight. Your recruiter will be in touch with you in a few days with results. After your interviews, those who interviewed you will get together and debrief whether they got a positive or negative signal on each of Amazon's 14 leadership principles. All of these principles are equally important. If all goes well, you'll be told you have an offer. And in the offer call, your recruiter may ask you about your compensation expectations. If you perform well in the onsite, but the team didn't feel like there's a good mutual fit, you may enter a team matching stage where you'll speak with different hiring managers from other teams. You can expect these sell calls to be more casual, but to be on the safe side, you should still brush up on Amazon's leadership principles and have stories on how you embody them. I hope this helped to clear up what the Amazon TPM interview is like. For more interview prep content, Exponent has the best resources to help you ace your interview, including in-depth interview courses, 
private coaching, and a community of experts ready to help you prep for even the toughest questions. Hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week and go to tryexponent.com to become a member today. Thanks for watching.